Hello dear student, I am Manur Islam. Today in the video, we are going to discuss an important question of CSNet 2022. Okay, this is the question from part C. And what is the question? Question ID is 514. Question is F is a function from 0 and close 0 to R. The coordinate function such that this, this F satisfies for this condition 0 to 1 FT FS DX equal to T to 1 FS DX. For every t velocity run, this is important. For every t velocity run, this hold. Then there are four options. If it is defensible, if it is monotonic, f0 to 1, if it is equal to 1, and if it is greater 0, it will follow decimal point. It must be run. Okay. So, see, given that if it is a constant function, if it is a constant function from close 0 to r, and with this condition. Okay. So, I am writing this condition. What is given? It is given that f from 0 on to R be a condensed function, right? It is given that f from 0 on to R be a condensed function. Okay, with the condition. What is the condition? Condition is 0 to t fx dx equal to t to 1 fx dx, right? For every t. This is important for every t belongs to zero. Then there are four options. Okay, see this is given. Okay, now one thing to solve this question, you have to first know Leibniz rule. Okay, so what is the Leibniz rule? This is Leibniz rule. Leibniz rule of differentiation under integral sign. Suppose f x t f is a function of two variables x and t, and derivatives be, be continuous. Of both x and t and let the first derivative of f gx and hx are continuous then this hold del x of g to x hx if it is if it is dt equal to g to x this become partial derivative the derivative x dt plus and upper uh, uh, is proper limit this is plus plus f of x comma in t plus in in plus of t in upper limit plus so if it is g plus f of x comma g in dot derivative of upper limit less and for lower limit is minus minus f of f x comma g in place of t you have to replace on lower limit so f of x comma g dot del less okay it is a real visual of differentiation okay and if suppose in g and h are constant then del less equal to zero okay del g less zero so this two term are out okay in this case there are no this term suppose tell you is not one and it is two so constant limit, constant for constant limit, the first third term and second term, third term will be zero because daily less equal to zero and daily less equal to zero. If it's constant, then derivative zero. If it's constant, then derivative zero. So this term will never occur in, in the differential. Okay, only this term. So it is written here. If g is absolute constant, then only this term are left. This term is zero. This term is zero. Okay, because this derivative zero, daily less equal to zero and daily less equal to zero. Okay, so we are going to apply. This result in this question. Okay, I am differentiating this with limit rule. Okay, then what is we get? If we differentiate this with limit rule, what do we get? We get first of all, I am differentiating with respect to t. Okay, differentiating with respect to t. So, if first of all, we get partial derivative. Okay, see, first of all, we get partial derivative. Okay, first term is partial derivative. So, you get del upon del t but if it is a function of x it is free mind if it is a function of x i have to you have to differentiate partially with this of t so this term becomes 0 to t del less okay plus in place of t you have to replace upper limit in place of t you have to replace sorry in, in place of the variable with this in place of the variable let's see here the variable is t so in the in the variable plus t in the t you have to replace the upper limit okay so here is the variable is x and with the, in the integration with respect to x okay so you have to replace in x in place of x you have to t so f t and, and rest is and you have to multiply with upper limit derivative so upper limit derivative is one because it is t so derivative is one okay since it's constant lower limit is constant so it's it will be f of x comma g, 0 and del g del x okay but g is 0 here g is 0 in case of g is 0 so uh, second term is 0 okay since g, it is g 
इन सिंपल थोड़ा सा होगा होगा इट होगा एफ जीरो बिकॉज यू हैव टू रिप्लेस इट इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स तो एफ जीरो इंटू डेल जी डेव टू जीरो उत्तर सो एक्स बट जीरो जो कॉन्स्टेंट सो डेव टू इट जीरो ऑटोमेटिकली सो सेकेंड टर्म उल भी जीरो लास्ट टर्म जीरो सो यू टू लेफ्ट ओनली दिस दिस इज डिफेंस ऑफ फास्ट डिफेंस ऑफ दिस आई डिफेंस इट दिस टी तो नाउ इन डिफेंस इन दिस नाउ इन यू टू डिफेंस दिस देर इक्वालिटी ओके Okay. Difference in with respect to t. Now difference in with respect to t. This so you get del t del x. Similarly, this function of x you have to pass different it partially, but so partially it is zero. Okay, because this is a function of x you have to difference it with respect to t. So this one zero. Similarly, the left hand side it is also zero. Okay, because this is a function of x you have to difference it with respect to t. So it is zero. So this term will be zero. In case it for it, it also first term is zero. Okay. And second term, second term will be since upper limit is constant, so this term zero. Okay. Minus lower limit. Lower limit is t. So in place of x, you have to replace t. So it becomes f t. And derivative de 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 of t is t. Since t, so derivative of t is one. Okay. So it will be one. And there is beside one condition. For it will happen for t minus one. Okay. Now see, this term is zero. Okay, so this term is never. Okay, so we get ft. In the right hand side, this term is zero, so it will be. You have to add, adding this. Only left minus ft. Okay, so in the right hand side, you have only minus ft. So you get this. So get you you get f ft equal to minus we get ft equal to minus ft for t equals to zero, right? So if on this way, I can write two ft equal to zero for t equals to zero. Two ft equal zero function, and two ft equal zero means ft equal zero means a equal zero function. So the function function from zero to r, which satisfying this condition, will be zero function. Okay, will be will be zero function. The record function is zero function only. Okay, so if it is zero function, I am I am I have proved that the function will be zero function only until zero function is possible. Okay, satisfying this condition. If it is zero function, will be zero function satisfying this condition only until zero zero function is possible. So now. I am going to the option. If if zero function is defensible, it is not no doubt. Okay, zero function is all defensible. It all the derivative exist. Okay, so first one is correct. So first one is correct. Since it is constant function, we know that a constant function is monotonic. Okay, it is trivially monotonic. Because see, we know that a function is set to monotone. Suppose a function f, any function real root, is set to be monotone. A function f from R to R. Okay. Is set to be monotone in pitching. Is set to be monotone. When if it if it is monotone in pitching or monotone decreasing, okay. So if it is monotone in pitching, then you can write write like this. If n plus one greater than if n, okay. Because n plus one greater than n, so if it is monotone in pitching, so you get if if you write like this, if n plus one equal to if n plus one greater than if n. Okay, in case of more more modern degreeing, okay, in case of modern degreeing, it will be if n plus one less equal to n. See, here is one inequality, okay, equality sign. Here is one equality sign. So, so this this may be equal. So if the function is constant, then if n if n plus one equal to c, suppose the function is f is equal to one constant, then if n plus all values c, it is all values is function c is constant. If it is equal to c constant, then it is for any real number, it will be c, okay. Then if n plus one it will be c. And it will be C, okay? Then this is called satisfies. This 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 one is called satisfies. Also this one is called satisfies because if n plus one C, if n is C, both sides C, so this also satisfies, okay? So constant function is trivially modern being and trivially modern being. If if a function is constant, then it is trivially modern being and also it is trivially modern being, okay? So constant function is modern. So since the function we have get the function f equal to zero, so it is modern on plus zero. So same option correct, okay? Now come to third option. It is given that zero to zero to one f is equal to zero. It will true? No, because see, if it true, so you get suppose it is true, so it is true. I get f t f is equal to zero, right? I I we have proved that the function satisfying f is equal to zero one is satisfying this condition only be zero function, okay? Only be zero function. So if it is zero function, so put if it is zero, if you put zero, then right side left side becomes zero, right side one. 
so it will be giving condition okay so option 3 is not right okay now fourth option if it's greater than 0 for all decimal in 0 1 okay it's saying that if it is positive all decimal in 0 1 if it is positive okay no because i have proved that if it's 0 if it's 0 on close domain close 0 1 okay if it's 0 on close 0 1 close 0 1 if it's if it's ideally 0 totally 0 on close 0 1 okay it is said that if it's greater 0 on decimal number 0 1 it is not possible because if it is totally 0 if you put it has 0 the 0 greater than 0 condition gives okay so this is not right so only option correct are option 1 and 2 so correct option are option 1 and 2 okay so so correct option are in this question option 1 and 2 this is the correct option okay so thank you